All right, what's up everybody? So I wanted to talk about the four reasons or four reasons that I think that real estate agents fail. Um, but first of all, I wanted to quick talk about my shirt because I have had this shirt since I was a sophomore in high school. Um, a friend of mine gave it to me and I thought it was super cool and I just have always kept it. And it's this like super sweet, vintage Ninja Turtle shirt. Um, so I am wearing it today with a leather skirt and some heels. Um, and <laughs> I think it's so cool. So I hope you do too. Um, if you don't, that's all right as well. Anyways, so the top four reasons I think that real estate agents fail. So number one on my list is not being fully committed to real estate. Um, a lot of people get into real estate and say, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. Um, I'm going to do it for a little extra income. And in my opinion, real estate is not a great job for a little extra income because there's too much to know. There's too much to learn. And in a lot of cases, you're ha handling people's largest purchase or sale of their life. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't want my agent to be doing it part time a few deals a year. Like that is not a trusted advisor in my opinion. Um, I'm sorry if you know some of you are out there doing it part time and I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying there is a lot to learn, um, a lot to know and being fully committed to real estate is super important in my opinion. Also, once you fully commit, that's when your real estate career really takes off because now you're looking at this as a career instead of a part-time hobby. All right, number two is not talking to enough people. So believe it or not, we are salespeople. <laughs> Whether you like to look at yourself as a salesperson or not, it says it right on our license, we are real estate sales professionals. So we need to be out there, out in our community, talking to real people, because that's what our job is, is communicating with people and providing value to our communities and to those who want our services. All right, so number three, as we know it in the real estate world, is shiny object syndrome. When you get your real estate license, you are going to be bombarded with all of these different options and opportunities on how to get business. Um, the problem is we look at one, we say, great, I'm going to try that, and we do it, but we only do it for... I don't know, two weeks, a month, and we say, that's not working, we're not doing that anymore. Well, we haven't given it enough time to really know if it's working or not, but we're on to the next thing. So in that case, we never really know what's working and what's not working. We have to pick something, commit to it, and stick to it for a pretty long period of time. I mean, I would say like six months to a year to really know, make sure you track your numbers, to really know if it's working or not. I know a lot of different agents that do all sorts of different marketing and some are, you know, I only do postcards to this neighborhood and I get all my business from that. That's great. But she didn't do that by one time. She's been doing that for years. I know another agent who gets most of her business from YouTube, but it took her three years before she got her first lead. So we really need to pick with one thing and stick with it for a long enough time because it will work if you stick with it. So the last one is mindset or attitude. So whenever I'm speaking with a new agent who is aspiring to get their license, I really, really focus on this one because um, real estate is a hard business. I know sometimes we make it look easy and we make it look fun, um, but the day-to-day -day of it is tough and it can be really mentally tough. So if you cannot have the right attitude going into it, um, it's really, really likely that you are not going to do well. So having something that gets your mind in the right place every day, I think is really important. Um, I know everyone kind of does their, their own thing and to each their own, so that that's great. Um, I like to work out. So working out for me, I feel accomplished when I'm done. I work out early, I get up at probably at about four every day, I get to the gym by five, and I like to work out early because it makes me feel good. <laughs> and I feel great after the gym and I'm ready to take on the day. Um, so that's something that I do personally. I also take uh, about 10 to 15 minutes to read my devotional in the morning as well um, so that my mind and body are connected and ready to go. 
Um, so there's not one right way for anybody and everybody, everyone has their own thing, but definitely doing something that gets your mind in the right place because real estate is, is mentally hard. Um, we get told no a lot. I hope you found a little bit of value in that and now you know if you are a real estate agent and you're doing any of those things to run the other way make some changes get your mindset right um, start working out start talking to people in your community pick something and commit to it um, decide real estate is gonna be your full-time career and go for it instead of making it this back passive job I'm hoping to do more videos like this in the future uh, about real estate, uh, my community, um, some things about EXP. Um, so I would love it if you would come back and see what else I'm going to put out for you guys. So please subscribe and I'll see you soon.